Long, long, giving our honor and praise to the Most High Yah, the Son Yahweh Shah. We are the battle axes of the Most High coming to you on this Wednesday class to get edified in the Lord's Word. The name of the class is called Perfect Love Cast Out Fear. Uh, the thing is, a lot of time when we get in this truth, fear comes up, comes because you you excited knowing who you are in this walk, but then now you got to face the world knowing this truth. You also got to face your family, you got to face friends, you got to face different people that you knew and loved before you know what you know. And then once you share it with them, they like, dang man, I don't feel the way you feel. So, those same people that, yeah, that was them. <laughs> those same, same people that you know and love. A lot of times you be scared to talk to them about it, man, because they, you know the way they are, the way they act. But we got to let our light shine, man. And the thing is, even with us going out to camp, we dealing with people out here on the, in the camps, you know, hitting these, hitting the streets and the highways and byways. These people come up, they don't. We say you, we we tell them you God chosen people, and they were like, forget you, nigga. We don't want to hear that. But he's like, well, brother, we love you, man. The most high love you, man. He sent his son to die for us, man, so we can repent and we can get the kingdom. He said, don't you want a kingdom? No, man, I need to get this bag. I need my reparation. Bro, you don't need reparation, bro. We don't want reparation. We want the kingdom. That's, right. wow. That's our mindset in this walk. But guess what? The mindset of Americans and how people got their mindset, they want money. They want glory. They want fame in this, in this, in this world, this present world. But the fear... People use the fear as being something that they can't build upon because the Lord didn't give us fear. Let's go to 1 John chapter 4, verse 18. The Lord didn't give us that fear. 1 John chapter 4, and verse 18. Don't go to verse 16. Let me start at verse 16. From the first John to the fourth verse 16. Mm -hmm. And we have known and believe the love that God has to us. Uh -huh. God is love. See, because guess what? Our God is love. What kind of God did command us, command us to keep his commandments? That we can that we can have his wisdom above all nations. That we can have, he even command us to have a good time. A God that commands you to have a good time. Man, that's, that's a glorious God, man. God is love, man. Read on. And he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God. Because when you, because a lot of times people like, oh, they don't think they get love from different places and they, they they feel like they ain't being shown love. But what is love of God? That we keep his commandments, right? That's right. But God. guess what? When you dealing with somebody and they and you dealing spiritually and they dealing carnal, guess what? Y'all have never meet up. But guess what? The more corner they have, the more corner they act, the more spiritual you should be. Because the spiritual going to outweigh the corner every day. Read. God dwelleth in him and, and he in God. Uh huh. Like, and God in him. Verse 17. Herein, herein is our love made perfect. He said, Herein is our love made perfect when we keep God's commandment. Read. That we may have boldness in the day of judgment. See, because guess what? Judgment will come about, man. We have but we, we got to be bold in the day of judgment. But how we be bold is being harmless as a dove and wise as a serpent. How we being bold is following God's law, statutes, and commandments. How we being bold is follow the Bible as it is written. That's how we be bold in our walk. It's gonna make you look bold just by saying God's words. That's that's the boldest word that you can speak on the planet. Nothing can outweigh this. And if, bro, if brothers, any brother seen it this weekend, they should know. God's word is above everything, man. That's right. It'll make a mountain move. We've seen a mountain move this, this weekend. Um, Read that up. Because as he is, so are we in this world. So as he is in heaven, so are we on earth. Read. There is no fear in love. There is no fear in love. There's no fear in God's Law, statutes, and commandments. There's no fear in this walk. There's no fear in God's word. Read. 
But perfect love casted out fear. Perfect love casted out all fears, man. When we dealing with anything in any situation, according to Deuteronomy chapter four, this is our wisdom in sight of all the nation. When we come to God's, when we come to God's law, statutes, and commandments, if we keep these things, guess what? Our understanding of anything is above and excel anything that can be brought out and put in front of you. And not only that, man, when a lot of these, when you go and do God's laws, it, it tells you about everything that's going to happen. Uh, a lot of everything that you probably dealt with and dealing with ain't going to deal with. Mm -hmm. So that's why it gets to the point where you don't have no fear. Because the fact of the matter is, you know, I'm keeping the most high God's laws. And mm -hmm. when I do that, he's not, he's, I'm protected by him. That's right. And that's where, that's where, when you get that perfect love, by doing his laws, and it cast out all fear. Anything that you think you're scared of, you don't have to be scared of that. That's right. Because you know, I do what I, I do what God say. Say, me, God take care of me. That's right. Read that out. <coughs> he that feared is not made perfect in love. He said, He that feared is not made perfect in love, man. No, read that over again. Read that from the top. Because fear had torment. He that feared is not made perfect in love. He said because fear has torment in it. Fear fear make you break the commandments. Fear make you hate your brother. Fear make you say things that you shouldn't say. Fear, fear, guess what? Just like our we look at all the stories in the Bible. People died because they didn't want to break God's law, statutes, and commandments. But some people broke God's law, statutes, and commandments because of fear. In this walk, we got to learn how to cast that fear behind us. If you want to, you going to strive the kingdom. It ain't gonna be no fear going in the kingdom. Cause guess what? We taking the kingdom back by force. It ain't by. Come on, please let us have the kingdom. No, it's gonna be by force. It's gonna be by a lot of death. It's gonna be a lot by a lot of killing. It's gonna be by a lot of destruction. It's just, it's written in the Bible that it's gonna happen this way. So we gonna have to get our mind right that that, that the fear that we got in us and this in it in this this class, honestly, it goes into. The old man that we have to put out, or the old woman that we have to put out, because the old woman sometimes have fear in them, and the old man sometimes have fear about them. But when you follow God's laws, there's no fear in that thing. Read up. Huh? Because fear had torment. Mm -hmm. He that feared is not made perfect uh -huh. in love. Uh huh. We love him because he first loved us. He, he, man, we love him because he loved us, man. Read on. If a man say, "I love God." Mm. And hated his brother. Because there's a lot of people. Fear sometimes will make you hate your brother. Mm. Because sometimes people are scared to move forward. They're scared to move on. Guess what? And they feel like somebody done did them so wrong or they did them bad in this walk. Because of fear. But if you stand up manfully like God say to stand up, there's no hatred in that thing, man. If, if my correction, if you have to correct me about anything and you come out the Bible, it's not wrong. If you got to show me there's something that, guess what, if I'm off in and it come out the Bible and it, and it lines up with the scripture, I'm, guess what, I got to take that correction. But when some people don't take correction, some people don't want to have that, guess what, it, it, things tend to happen. Decisions get made sometimes out of, out of anger, anxiety, and fear. We got to let our mood, we got we to let our light shine, man. Uh, every class that we we gonna keep bringing out, it's gonna start getting heavier and heavier and heavier. The times have changed. <coughs> we have to change with the times. And and, and what we're gonna be what we're gonna be going into is all about what God army is setting up. He's setting up his army in front of the world. He's setting up his kingdom in front of this world. He's setting up as it is on heaven, as it is in heaven, it's gonna be on earth. That's how he's setting it up right now in front of the world and they don't they don't even see it. They don't even see it coming. The only thing they see is keep oppressing them. Let's, keep, let's see if they still sleep. And God building up all around them. And he destroying places as we as we speak right now, places being destroyed. Plants and crops won't grow. Locusts is everywhere. Diseases and pestilence all around. This not even written in the Bible. This is what God said he's going to do to the planet. And they can't see it. Let me get uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. Because even going into what I, to jump back up to verse what is that? Uh, 17. 
perfect love. Sure. Brother Shanah, what is love according to the Bible? Uh, the keeping of God's commandments. What precept? First John five and three. So it says, "Herein is our love made perfect," and that's what we're constantly trying to do. We know that love is the keeping of God's commandments, but most I take it one step even further. We're trying to perfect keeping His commandments, man. Yeah. So guess what? Perfecting God's commandments comes with correction. You're gonna constantly be correct, constantly, man. Because like we always tell brothers, we've been in the in the world for 30, 40 years. Brothers and sisters only been the truth maybe. One, two, three, four, five years. So guess what? The world outweighs the truth. So you constantly going to be corrected in this truth. Read that, obviously, y'all. 2 Timothy 3 and 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. So the whole Bible is inspired by the Most High God. Read on up. And it's profitable for doctrine. And it's profitable, meaning it's going to gain you something. Read on up. For reproof. For correction. For what? For correction. For correction. The things that we do, guess what? The Bible is all about correction. The problems that we deal with in our lives, guess what? The Bible has the solution. It has the answers to, to get you back on that right path, to correct you. Read on up. For instruction in righteousness. For instruction in righteousness. Like I said, if it ain't not the Bible, guess what? Brothers is not going to bring it. But you can't be in your feelings if you don't like taking correction. Guess what? Stop being wicked. Shake off that old man. Shake off that old sister, man. Or guess what? Take the reproof and move on. Read on up. That the man of God may be perfect. That he may be what? That the man of God may be perfect. That's what we're trying to accomplish here, brothers and sisters. Read on up. Thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Go ahead, up. Come on, on there. Let's go back. First John chapter 4 and verse 21. Verse 20. Oh, it's a lot. First John chapter four verse twenty. Mm -hmm. If a man say, "I love God," and hateth his brother, he is a liar. Because guess what? A lot of times people get in this truth, they hold grudges. They have hate for their sisters. They have hate for their brother. They wish death on brothers. They talk crap about brothers. Guess what? That's a lot of people that sitting up in congregations, and guess what? They have leadership, and people talk. People talk about different leaderships. People talk about people around them all day long. But when it come down to it, when, when it come to God's laws and, we, and people hold you, hold you accountable for this, a lot of times people can't take a correction. A lot of times people don't want to hear it. Then it go from being in the truth to scoffing now. We can't let that set in on us because a lot of times fear, you see how they said it, talked about fear now goes into talking about your brother and how you hate, how, how you can hate your brother. Because that's what that's what comes in. Because a lot of times people are scared to let that old man go, or they're scared to let that old woman go. That's what happens to a lot of us in this walk. <coughs> oh man, I used to do this in the street, man. I had plenty of women, man. I, I had plenty of money, man. I, I did the dang on thing, man. That old man has to die to go to the kingdom. That old woman has to die to go to the kingdom. Because niggas is not going to the kingdom. Israelites are going to the kingdom, man. We don't. <coughs> For he that loveth not his brother, whom he hath seen, uh -huh. how can he love God, whom he hath not seen? Man, that's the question God asked. If you hate your brother, I got it right here in your face. <coughs> how you think you're going to love me and you don't even see me? <coughs> how you going to love God you ain't even seen God, but you see your, I put brothers around you that I told you you're supposed to be loving. That's a commandment for you to love your brother. But a lot of times people don't understand how to love brothers. Let's go to Leviticus 19 and 17. This is how you love your brother right here. If this ain't brotherly love, then I don't know how, how what, a, what brotherly love can be. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. The book of Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. That's a commandment for you not to hate your brother. Read on. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor uh -huh. and not suffer sin upon him. That's a love for your brothers and sisters in the walk. You should, uh, you should always give, be ready to rebuke your brother. And rebuke going into, correct your brother. It should be no correcting. It should be, it should be everybody in here should be wanting to re get ready to help correct each other if they have to do that. Mm -hmm. that ain't, I ain't trying to say we should be like nitpicking each other. No, I ain't saying that. <laughs> that is not what we're saying. But it's to 
It said to suffer sin upon him. To, to not suffer sin upon him. We don't. That's love. That's love. That's right. Free. Verse 18. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. But what? But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. That's the commandment to love thy neighbor as thyself, man. So guess what? A lot of times when, when brothers ain't got their brotherly love like this, people, you, you basically, how do I expect you to love me? And you don't even know how to love yourself. Some people, a lot of people hate themselves. So how do I expect you to love me? <laughs> it just ain't gonna happen. If you hate yourself, I know you gonna know you ain't gonna show me no love. Yeah. We can't expect that though. But a lot of times, a lot of times, brothers kind of run into that to be expected. Yeah, I got a precept to go with that. Uh, go ahead, uh, uh, the Book of Sirach, chapter twenty, verse one. Because like the ox said, loving your brother is correcting your brother because the whole goal is to get into the kingdom. If you really love your brother or your sister, you want them to get into the kingdom. That's why I say to not suffer sin upon them. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times you, you try to correct the brother any kind of way, and they want to take it the wrong way. But let's see what the scripture got to say about that. Read so that. chapter 20, verse 1. There is, a re there is a reproof that is not common. There is some reproof and correction that's not how you may want it to be. Right. But this it's just like when we get an analogy of your, if your child running out in the street, is you finna tell them, Oh, baby, get out the street. Or if you can get your butt out the street. Because you don't want them to ever do that again. Right. So some reproof that is not comely. It's not beautiful. It's not the way you may want it to be. Read on. Again, some man holdeth his tongue, and he is wise. And like I say again, some men hold their tongue, and he be wise. Depending on the situation, you speak in season. Don't speak out of season. That's being wise. Read on. It is much better to reprove. That to be angry secretly. It's much better for me to try to correct my brother. Oh, man. To be angry secretly. Man, this brother right here, man. Mm -hmm. This brother boy just keep on messing up. But then I don't ever say nothing to him. And it go vice versa too. If you got a problem, and even if it ain't reproof. If you got a problem, you have to say something. If you don't say nothing, then you let it build up in you. That's how you get a grudge. And as we see, that goes against the law. Mm -hmm. To not... A bear a grudge against the children of your people. That's because you ain't speaking as a man to your brothers. And guess what? You're not keeping the commandments because uh, the commandments exactly. tell you to do that. Right. Exactly. Read on up. And he that confesseth his fault shall be preserved from hurt. All right. If a brother come to you, be like, ah, you ain't got your friends on today. Ah, you know what? My bad. I messed around, left the shirt at the house. I ain't going to do that again. This is just a little analogy on it. You, you accept that correction. And you correct it, especially if the brother coming with the scriptures. Now, if you don't do that, then you're going against the scriptures. And I'm just going to read this right quick. 20, uh, chapter 21 and verse 6. He that hateth to be reproved is in the way of sinners. But he that feareth the Lord will repent from his heart. So if you really, truly love the Lord, when a brother coming with, to you with correction, you will correct that thing according to the scriptures. But if you don't, you're in the way of sinners, man. Because you don't want to be, all the brother doing is trying to get you right with the Lord. If he coming with the scriptures. Uh, was that it on that? Yeah. But, you know, just like I like them going into, that's, that's love that, that we give for our brother. It's to help correct each other. That's love for our sisters. You know, the thing is, we, we come in this walk and we don't really kind of learn how to be cordial in this walk. <coughs> you find out who you are, and now we keeping the commandments every day, and then now you going home, you just watching TV. I'm just keeping the commandments. I'm just, you know, thinking about the Lord. And I'm reading my Bible. And I'm just going to keep a few commandments, think about the Lord. But then all of a sudden you get a phone call. Now, yeah, man, help that nigga, man, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All the commandments went out the door. That old man came back. Because you had, but guess what? I bet you it was, a, it was something came in your mindset before you talked on that phone. You like, you looked at the phone like, dang, I already know they finna start talking before. Him. Yeah, what's up, bitch? <laughs> Soon you get on the phone. But guess what? Your mindset told you about who was finna happen, and sometimes your mind, guess what you do? You go right back into that corner, man. And still have, still guess what? You you scared to let that old man go? Tell him like, no. When they start talking like that, look here, man. I. I don't talk like that anymore, man. I got to change the way I speak, man. 
you know, when they start seeing you respect yourself, they'll start respecting you too. Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter uh, 6 right quick. Verse uh, 14. Fourteen. Yes, sir. Read that. First Corinthians six and fourteen. And God has both raised up the Lord and will also raise up us by His own power. See, cause God gonna raise us up by, by His own power. He raised up the King, and He raised up us by His own power. Read on. Know ye not that your bodies are the members of Christ? <coughs> All our bodies are the members of Christ. All our bodies. Like when we doing this walk, we got to make our walk a living sacrifice, man. And our conversations and our speak and our everyday thing that we do. We should be growing and changing, growing and changing. That's something that we all should have our mindset to do. Read. Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them the members of an heart? So we, he said, should he, take, should he take the members of Christ and make them a harlot? Read. God forbid. He said, hell no. Help him out. He said, hell no. Okay, I'm not finna take God's property and start to just do what I want to do with it. Take him away from their God. Take him away from the understanding of the Bible. Because sometimes when we see brothers and brothers and sisters get into the walk, they'll pull you away from they'll pull you away from your God. It's designed and it's set up. It's plain to the holy, but it's a stumbling block to the wicked. This Bible is set up t for you to choose a side. And I don't know how a lot of times people don't, don't perceive it, but it's set up to choose for good and evil, for life and death. It's set up, it's set up to pick a side. It ain't set up for you to straddle the middle. It's set up to, for you to pick a side and choose which side you're going to be on. And a lot of times people don't understand it because their mindset is set in a corner, corner mind state. They can't see it. They got eyes that can't see and ears that can't hear we don't know. Verse 16. What? Know ye not that he which is joined to an harlot is one body? Yeah. <laughs> Read it again. Uh. What? Know ye not that he which is joined to an harlot is one body? Because guess what? Even the one that's joined to a harlot, that's one body too. <laughs> they keep running the strip club. <laughs> because guess what? Let that sink in a little bit, but uh -huh. guess what? <laughs> because guess what? You got the evil over here, and you got the good over there. Read that from again. Huh? <laughs> Y'all <are> crazy. <laughs> what? Know ye not that he which is joined to an harlot is one body? Hey, that's what the scripture said, man. Can't make this thing go. <laughs> <Don't even. laughs> For two, said he shall be one flesh. He said, but two shall be one flesh, man. So we got to come back correct, man. Read up. But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. But that's what we, that's what we strive to be, that one spirit, man. We strive to be the one spirit. We don't, we, don't, we don't strive to be the fleshly man or the worldly man or the, or the person that want, wants to get themselves away from what God stands for. Read up. Verse Flee fornication. He said do what? Flee fornication. We must be fleeing fornication. We must be fleeing from the old person. We must, we must flee from fornication, man. Read. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body. He said, every sin that a man doeth is without the body, man. Every sin. Read. But he that committed fornication sinneth against his own body. See, but he that he put a difference in that, man. Spiritual fornication, physical fornication. All those things are, are damnable heresies. Idolatry, other mm -hmm. philosophies. All that's fornication. Come on. All this, all that goes into fornication, man. Uh, let's go. Matter of fact, keep reading now. Nineteen. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost? It said, "Our body is the temple of the Holy mm -hmm. Ghost." That's why people, they, oh, I'm being led by the Ruach, Ruach Kadash. <laughs> but 
then he go on smoke one of the biggest biggest uh, split you ever seen in his life. <laughs> they being led by the Rawakwadash. <laughs> Going home eating pork. Mm. Defiling themselves, man. Not keeping the Sabbath. Read up. Which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own. We are not our own, man. Read. For ye are bought with a price. Because the Lord bought us with a price, man. When he sent his son down, just like Abraham gave his son up, Isaac, in the same manner, when when Abraham was obedient to God, and he, and he, he gave his son up, God had showed a similitude in how he was going to give his son up. And how his son was going to be obedient until the end. His son was obedient the same way. How how Solomon was obedient, his son was obedient too. And if you're not your own, you need to go consult with the person who owns you. You need to go and have, hey, what, what do you want me to do? That's like anything that you buy. It ain't just like you go buy a car. It ain't just out there driving his own. I'm just riding around. You ain't even in it. No, you need to get with the person that owns it. In order for that vehicle to move, you need to, the owner, the person with the key. And the Most High, if you claiming to be in this truth, or you claiming to be love the Most High, then you should go and consult with what he wants you to do as a vehicle. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Come on. Read on up. For you are bought with a price. Mm -hmm. Therefore glorify God in your body. And in your spirit, which are God's. Now we got to be going, because we know the truth. We got to be glorified God in our body and our spirits, man. Let's go to Revelation chapter 2 and verse 10. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 10. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. He said, guess what? In this walk, man, during these Jacob troubles, during the time, guess what? The end time, we can't fear none of those things. None of these things of this world. Read. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. What the devil going to do to him? Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. See, because a lot of times people talk without understanding. The devil going to cast some of us into prison. That's reading in the Bible. That some of these things are gonna happen to us, man. Read. That ye may be tried. That they, 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 we might be what? That ye may be tried. Because sometimes when people see stuff like that happen, now they spirit vexed. Hey. Sometimes, guess what? Sometimes brothers can't handle things. But in a worldly mindset, guess what? You see your cousin get locked up, mm. brother. Auntie, mama, daddy. It ain't gonna make no sense. You get in this walk and the Lord say some of this stuff gonna be happening to some of us. Ah. <laughs> and then guess what? He gave us the example. John the Baptist got locked up. Mm -hmm. Paul kept getting locked up. Oh, boy. Come on, Christ got locked Christ up. Got locked up. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Paul was on house arrest, man. Come on. And they was righteous men. So mm -hmm. you don't think this gonna happen to some, some brothers and sisters that ain't as righteous as them? So brothers, brothers got to shake that fear thing. Like we said, if anything happened, brother, that's why we, boy, we be on brothers, boy. We're going to continue to be on brothers because if anything happened to brothers, guess what? Brothers got to stand up, man. Y'all got to hold the fort down, man, till Christ come. Mm -hmm. This thing is serious, man. And the thing is, what people, when the congregation look, that's why we try to tell brothers, read your Bibles, get built up, get stronger. Hey, keep coming to every class we got. Keep coming to class. Keep going to count one-on-one. -on -one. Because when y'all looking at the table and y'all see us brothers up here, this the front line. This is the front line to take the bullet. This is the front line to lead the course. This is the front line to go to prison. This is the front line for everything. And that's what people fail to realize. So when we ask them brothers to get their mind right to be an officer or captain, it means something. Because now you step into the front line of being in to taking the bullet. We are the bullet stoppers. The people you see up here is supposed to be the bullet stoppers. And then guess what? I don't see now brother up here is going to wait. The brother's ready to die right here. Right here. On, if, I don't care how live the YouTube is. If it come in to somebody get put to death, one of us, finna, we, or one of us of all of us is going to die right here. God. That's how we roll That's it. That's right. Man. 
We right. men of the Lord, man. We real men of the Lord. This ain't no Christian pastor stuff. This ain't no this ain't no church, no worldly type of thing. This is how they roll, man. Yeah. And the thing about it, Jim Ball, what's going on, a lot of times we like to stuff goes, you know, stuff happen to us. First thing we want to blame, and boy, we done got it bad. Esau. Mm -hmm. Now, most high. <laughs> For real. The most high. Esau can't do a darn thing to you unless the most high allow it to. Mm -hmm. And sometimes those things are allowed because of your wicked butt doing some old stuff you know you had no business doing. Just because you might be hiding from us, guess what you're not hiding it from? <laughs> so, Esau, man, we already know Esau is the wickedest thing ever to be created. So what you worried about that for? Get your mind stuck on the most high. You ain't got to worry about that. Oh, man, Esau got me in prison. No, no, most I just told you right there. Some of y'all going to the penitentiary, not necessarily penitentiary, LSU. Yeah. And so why, 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 why trip? Uh -huh. Just get things together and get back right with the most high. You got to go through some of these things. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it to the kingdom. And ain't been, ain't been through nothing. Right. How? For what? Yeah. What you gonna do there? You ain't did nothing right here. Mm -hmm. Why you gonna go through some stuff? The most man, he sent this son out here to die. Get beat worse than any man that ever got beat in their life. And then you wanna get to the kingdom and you ain't gotta go through nothing. Mm -hmm. oh. That's yeah. soft as pond water. No. What's your favorite man? What's your favorite thing to say? Uh uh. Friendly as a box of puppies. Yeah, that's friendly as a box of puppies. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, man, but that's what the most I do. He send us through various situations to try us, man. Because the most I need to know if he can use us or not. He needs to know if I can use that brother, if I can lean on that brother when, when times get tough. You know what I'm saying? When they really get down to it, when a brother gets suspended or something, can he take his correction? When a brother wrong, can he take his correction? When a brother gets suspended, can he take his counsel? If you can't if you can't pass these small tests, well then man, what's gonna happen when this scripture come out here? When they start putting us in these prisons? Or even death, man. Mm -hmm. I was on the phone with my grand on the way to class, man. Lord knows my grand, I love her, man, man, I do. Man, she say, well they out there put y'all in jail. She said, What if they start killing you? What you got something to be right out there? She said, You go I said, I will die. <laughs> and that's how we gotta be, man, because we know and this scripture gonna prove it. It's gonna tell you all. Oh, we got to be able to put our lives on the line for this, man. That's why my brother and them say that. Be ready to come up next because they going to start trying to persecute the prophets, man. Yeah, they, 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 and when they, they do, who going to be next up in line to come sit up at this table and take in for a brother or something? You know what I'm saying? Because it's going to happen, man. These spot, this words, the, the, the Lord's words won't go void, man. If he said it, you know. If they persecuted me, what you think they're going to do to you? You, no. you ain't me. You think they ain't going to do it to you? You got to be ready, man. He give us trials and tests to get us ready for the real test, man. These, like I say, these are grade C, B, maybe even D tests. We ain't even got to the A and B test, man. For real. We just now trying to get touch the surface. Mm -hmm. We got to get those cards. Read, read, read it again from the top off. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prisons, that ye may be tried. That ye may be tried. Try, 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 that you may be tried. Read. And ye shall have tribulation ten days. And some of them be cast in there for a little minute. Mm -hmm. You may gonna, gonna get out overnight. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you might have to see it, man. I may bail. Uh, mm -hmm. I may bail. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Hey, well, I know darn well I may bail. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's just what it is. Read on up. Uh. Be thou faithful unto death. What did the Bible Ooh, say? Be thou faithful unto death. Why? Read and on. I will give thee a crown of life. And he will give you a crown of life, man. See, but when we look in a carnal mind state, it, it'll make a brother back up. Ugh. I just don't know if I can do it. But the same person that you get up and go to work for every day, same person you went fought in his army and the military. And, I'll die for this country. <laughs> you go over there and kill anybody over there overseas. You go kill all of them. But you came over here and you, and you don't push this white girl on the ground. Every cop in the city. Let me get a precept. Go to Romans 9 and 4. And uh, that's yeah. like one thing, man. I, my biggest fear in life, man, ever since I was a child, 
was dying. I was always scared of death. Even when I used to go to funerals, I used to be like, dang, boy, that, that's bad. But then I got in this truth and I realized when I'm doing God's law, if I, I why I'm not, I don't fear death because I'm in, I'm in the good hands. If this happened to me and I'm gone, at least I died doing his will and not doing my will. So I'm comfortable with that. The scary thing is dying and not in my will, doing anything but what God has us to do. Yeah. And that's when I realized I know how to defeat that fear. Right. Just do what the most I tell me to do. And if I die, hey, I'm good. That's right. And I'm, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to share something with y'all right quick, man. <coughs> yeah, man, I remember when McAbee had to, like, blood clots in the leg. I'm going to the hospital mm -hmm. visit him. He, like, he, he, he was preparing me, hey, about, hey, man, this is why it happened, man. And if I die, man, this and that. I'm, I'm thinking in my mind, I'm like, damn, I'm like, you ain't going to die. <laughs> but in the, in, the, in the spiritual mindset, you got to think. I don't really know, and he didn't really know me, because he don't know what the verdict gonna be. He can come back in there, say, "Oh man, I'm blood clotting, I'm reach up to your brain, you gone." Mm -hmm. He didn't know, and now you know. But guess what? The whole time he didn't realize what he was doing was kind of helping me, even though I'm coming around, I'm coming out, laughing, we be laughing and talking like we always do. I was scared, just as scared as he was. I don't know if he he knew that, and I was scared in that mud, man. But. I didn't let it control me. I never let. I never. I learned it a long time ago to never let my 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 actions overtake what's going on, because it can be fear and everything else going around around you. And if you show that sign, guess what, man? That that the enemy way right there. What you say? Y'all scared enough? Hey, Lord, these niggas are scared. These gonna be your chosen people. Mm -hmm. Then you never know what what the, what the, what the Lord could have let them let them do. Yeah, and that's how I'm gonna look on your face, cause I wind up in the ICU. Which I wouldn't really, it didn't bother me. I felt great. But Jeroboam came in there, why they got you in this room? I was like, what you mean? This, I see you. <laughs> and he had that look on his face. But at the same time, we, like I said, you, it's, it's a time when you got to be prepared for anything. And just the fact of the matter is, make sure that you got all your stuff. Marbles in one barrel, and that's in the most high barrel. And you don't got to worry about those things. Right. Let's read this right here, because I'm going to show you, because Paul was doing the same thing. Let's read that. Romans 9 and 4. Who are Israelites? No, no, I didn't say 9 and 4. 9, start at 1. <laughs> Did I say 4? Yeah, he's yeah. alive. Yeah. Lord have mercy on me. Don't fight the man. I showed you. I just said Romans 9. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Go ahead, start at 9. That's 1. Book of Romans 9, verse 1. Who are I say the truth in Christ. I lie not. Mm -hmm. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. Mm -hmm. For I could wish that myself were cursed from Christ for my brethren. See, even Paul himself is saying, I wish I could have done that, that, that Yahweh Shah did for my people. Because yeah. he's saying, man, and, and you got to understand, Paul just now getting coming into the truth. And now he's saying, man, now he didn't realize, and now he understand. He said, man, I wish I could have gave my life for my brother." That's love. He said, your house shot shows some love. I want to be like him. I wish I could have did all that. And boy, think about it. Getting Man, going through what Christ had to go through before he even went on that cross. And then you saying, I wish I could have done that. Paul Cole. Because <laughs> Christ even had to pray to the Lord. Yeah, I would have been like, well, I'll take one of them licks, but I don't want them all that he had. You know, because... But he, he said, man, I, I I wish I could die for my brother. That's how we got to be around here with each other. Uh -huh. We should be able to say, man, I would die for my brother. Uh -huh. And when I say that, and I know these brothers do that same thing, they know I, I, we will. We, I would die for my brother. Them laws come running out and want to do all this. Brother, you just going to have to kill us all. Uh -huh. That just wasn't got. It's going to look bad on the news on y'all. But, yeah, 44 Black Hebrew, they'll call us Black Hebrew. Black Hebrew Israelites got shot down downtown Dallas today. And y'all should be, if you did nothing down there, y'all should be saying, oh, praise. Uh -huh. 
I'll pray to them brothers right there. The dead in Christ is going to rise exactly. up first. Exactly. That's all I got. Let's go to Sirach. Did, did we finish it out? Yeah, go ahead. Finish it out. Right. I know you want to get there bad anyway. I'm going to go back to Revelation 2 and uh, 11. Because he said it in 10, but he reiterated it to let you know for sure that he's not playing about this. Revelation 2 and 11. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. Mm. Mm. Break it down, man. Huh? Break it down. We, we know that when the Most High raised us back up, man, we ain't, we, we ain't going into that, that, that burn of them, them arrows shooting. We, what that scripture, we going to be looking. That's all we going to see is see them. We ain't going to feel no hurt. What scripture is that, man? My brother say, uh, all we saw, all we did was saw the, the destruction, but we didn't feel none of the pain. Uh, Psalm chapter 91. Yeah, I'll pray. Help a brother out. Yeah, so we ain't going to feel that second death, man, because the Most High going to reestablish us, man, put us back in this thing. We going to be the one doing the hunting. Guess what? We're going to get everybody a payback. Big payback. Payback. <laughs> That's why I put that post on there. A, a, a coward dies a thousand deaths, but the Lord's man dies but once. Because mm -hmm. we looking for the, for the everlasting salvation. So all these cowards in Israel, they don't want to do nothing for their people. They dying every day. And not the righteous <laughs> death, like Paul said, mm -hmm. I die daily. They just dying like some cowards. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, they already dead. Mm -hmm. They the walking dead. That's right. That's so, right. no, man, we ain't having no fear. Because what's the purpose of having fear? When when we was in the world, they was killing and persecuting us anyway. When we was doing foolishness. They still kill us. They going to kill us regardless. So wouldn't it be only right or righteous that we die for the Lord's sake? Mm -hmm. Like we supposed to anyway? Instead of just dying a meaningless death. A Negro's death in America. Nah, oh, man. What you gonna do with the Lord? And that's the thing. Why live to die your whole life? Knowing you, you, you got to go through that death, that first death, so he, you can be resurrected to be put to death. Yeah. Let's go to uh, Sirach, chapter 11, verse 13. Sirach, chapter 11, verse 13. Chapter 11, verse 13. Uh -huh. And lifted up his head from misery, mm -hmm. so that many that saw it marveled at him. Mm -hmm. Prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of the Lord. He said, Prosperity, adversity, life, death, pro I mean, uh, uh, poverty, riches, all that come from the Lord, come of the Lord. The Lord give it, he take it away, man. Mm -hmm. He give it and he take it away from us, man. Read on. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the law or of the Lord. Now in the same the same in the same aspect as he give uh prosperity and adversity and life and death, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding come from the Lord, come come of the Lord too. Of the law come from the Lord too. Read on. Love and the way of good works are from him. All this all that come from the Lord. Just like I was saying, he, he saw it and all that come from the Lord did that. Because tests and trials come, but we can't be we can't be in a fearful mindset. Because a fearful mindset will let you will, will it get you away from Sirach chapter two and verse one. It'll get you away from that person because the Lord told us to prepare ourselves for temptation. Mm -hmm. You know, error and darkness hath their beginning together with sinners, mm -hmm. and evil shall wax old. With them that glory therein. See, because when people when people glory in, in error and darkness, I mean, what what happened in the dark? Well, what happened when the error come? You're scared you're gonna make another mistake. What happens in the dark? Guess what? Everything gets scary in the dark unless you're doing something you ain't got no business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and even that's scary. And even that's scary for real. Read verse 17. The gift of the Lord remaineth with the godless, uh -huh. and his favor bringeth prosperity forever. And his favor bringeth prosperity forever. Now we're going to get into uh, Judges chapter 6 right quick. We're going to go into this little thing. We're going to go touch on uh, Jeroboam. So I'm going to touch on a little bit. 
He said, where be all all his miracles? Because a lot of times people don't believe in miracles. They don't believe miracles even happen. Miracles happen every day. <laughs> uh, every day. <laughs> Read on, uh. Saying, did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? But now the Lord has forsaken us mm -hmm. and delivered us into the hands of the Midianites. Now, look, he, he tried to be slick with the angels. He said, man, look here, man. Y'all, you know, brought us out of Egypt to get us to, uh, 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 get us, put us in the hand of the Midianites. Come on, Lord. I know you ain't do it like that to us. Read on. Verse 14. And the Lord looked upon him and said, Go in this thy might, mm -hmm. and thou shalt save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. And he said, he said, he said, go in. He said, man, because the Lord finna save, he finna, he finna save uh, Israel from the Midianites. He, he, he given uh, Gideon this prophecy that's finna come to pass. Read on. Have not I sent thee? And he said unto him, O oh my Lord, wherewith shall I save Israel? Behold, my family is poor in and, and Manasseh, and, mm -hmm. and I am yeah. and, uh -huh. like, and I am the least in my father's house. Yeah, he said, man, my family is poor, man, I'm the least in my father's house. Hey, man, it's just how it rolls, man. <laughs> he said, how you going to save everybody? He looking at these hands oh, like, dang, boy, how am I going to save? <laughs> and the thing about it is, it's like a lot of us in here. A lot of times you think you just in here. Most of saying, I sent you there for a real. I sent you. How y'all? How we gonna get out this mess? You, me. Uh, how me, man? I'm the poorest around here. I ain't got nothing. Every time I go in my pocket, ain't nothing laying in there. How I'm gonna get us out of this? But that's just to show that the Most High used this the weak to mm -hmm. show his strength in them. Because a lot of times you got a, a strong brother, he think he done did it by mm -hmm. his will mm -hmm. and not by the will of the Most High. So we always got to give honor and glory to the Most High God. Oh, right. Going on it. Read on up. Verse 16. And the Lord said unto him, Surely I will be with thee, and thou shalt smite the Midianites as one man. Yeah, he said, mm -hmm. man, I'm going to be with you, man. Don't worry about this, man. You're going to be smiting them as one man. Mm -hmm. But watch this bit. They explain it. Don't read it. And he said unto him, If now I have found grace in thy sight, then show me a sign that thou talkest with me. Now you know Israel required a sign. Uh, That's man. us, man. We require a sign, man. Look here, man. Hey, okay, then. If we gonna kick that butt, where your gun at? <laughs> show me where your gun at? Uh, okay, let's go. You got to see it. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm telling you, man. I got it on me. Man, no, what a good it. <laughs> I got to see it, man. Yeah, that's what it is. I think uh, Israel ain't our homeland. I think uh, Missouri is. <laughs> Show me. <laughs> no, he ain't <laughs> love. <laughs> Read on up. Verse 18. Depart now. Depart no hence. I pray thee until I come unto thee and bring forth my presence and set it before thee. And he said, I will tarry until thou come again. Now he said, man, go on here, leave, and I come back, man. I got you. <laughs> you know. And Gideon went in and made ready a kid mm -hmm. and unleavened cakes of an of an F -F of mm -hmm. flour. Ephah, 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 a flour. The flesh he put in a basket, and he put the broth in a pot mm -hmm. and brought it out unto him under the oak and presented it. Uh huh. And the angel of God said unto him, Take the flesh and the unleavened cakes, and lay them upon this rock, and pour out the broth. And he did so. Mm -hmm. Then the angel of the Lord put forth the end of the staff that was in his hand, and touched the flesh and the unleavened cakes. And there rose up fire out of the rock, mm -hmm. and consumed the flesh and the unleavened cakes. Then the angel of the Lord departed out of his sight. Now, he gave him a sign. Like, here you go. You want to see some? Hey, man, go in and get this stuff, man. Come on back out. I'm going to show you something, man, right quick. Mm -hmm. He put the down, thing down there. He made a burn offering to the Lord. There you go. Man, you, is that good enough for you? Still wasn't good enough. Drop down first. First microwave. <laughs> first microwave, huh? <laughs> for real. Verse 25. Verse 25. And it came to pass the same night that the Lord said unto him, Take thy father's young bullock, even the second bullock of the seven-year-old, mm -hmm. and throw down the altar of Baal that thy father had and cut down the grove that is by you. Because the Lord, he 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 he, he getting Gideon ready. He's, t he's showing them that look, if I know I'm finna bless y'all and get y'all out of out of this ca captivity and I'm finna save y'all from this, but y'all gotta get rid of them idols. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Y'all got to get rid of all of this stuff that y'all and they, that your your fathers and stuff done built up. Y'all got to get rid of all of this. Y'all want me to say them? Y'all got to get rid of this. I showed you who I was when you brought this stuff out. I let my angel show you part of me. Now, but if you want me to fight for you and and, and to take down these Midianites, get rid of all this stuff that's in the grove, man. Cut all of that down. Because yeah, he's a jealous God. Yeah. He, don't, he don't. He don't want you. Worshiping nothing but him. I, I, I'm gonna do it for you. And another, and another thing. If the fact is, if, if this was to happen, and people have these idols sitting around, guess what? Them people will start doing. Worshiping those idols because they'll be thinking their power was in those idols and not in the Most High. So the Most High said, "Knock all that down. Take that all out the way. We ain't finna leave no evidence to saying that this somebody else did this. Y'all gonna see I'm doing this. That's right. We don't." And build an altar to the Lord thy God upon the top of the rock of this rock mm-hmm. in the ordered place, and take the second bullet and offer a burnt sacrifice with the wood of the grove which thou shalt cut down. Now, as he cut down that grove and he cut, the, cut down the burnt, cut down, cut down the idol, he did a burnt offering to the Lord. Read on. Then Gideon took ten men of his servants mm-hmm. and did as the Lord had said unto him, and so it was, because he feared his father's household. Mm-hmm. And the men of the city, that he could not do it by day, that he did it by night. Now, but Gideon, he did it, but he still was in fear of it. But the Lord gave him straightway commandments of what he's supposed to do. Read on. And when the men of the city arose early in the morning, behold, the altar of Baal was cast down. Mm-hmm. Read on. So like, and the grove was cut down, that was by it. And the second bullock was all offered upon the altar that was built. Uh-huh. And they said one to another, "Who had done this thing?" Now they asked, "Who done this thing, man? Who cut down our, who cut down our idols, man? Who cut down our God? Who did this?" We don't. And when they inquired and asked, they said, "Gideon, the son of Joash, had done this thing." Now they told on Gideon, man. <laughs> well, man, him downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> they, hey, they gave him a cigarette, on. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> they gave him a cigarette. Me. I tell you everything. <laughs> For real, y'all know how that first four days be <laughs> coming there. Man, who did it? I ain't telling you. Who did it? Nigga, he, he get that pack of cigarettes. <laughs> there you go. Man, he had to uh, green shorts on. <laughs> hey, big top. I think he wear a size 12 because I, I, I bought some his shoes last week. <laughs> Look, he be talking, hey, they ain't get him, but he be going by Jerry Ball. <laughs> I know, I know we joke about that a lot, but guess what, brothers and sisters? That is a commandment, yeah, man. Yeah. If you see somebody and know somebody and did something wrong, you are required to tell on them, man. Because guess what? That stopped evil from accumulating mm-hmm. in, in the nation of Israel. So that is a commandment, yeah. even though we joke about it a lot of times, man. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh. That is crazy. <laughs> We don't know. <laughs> Verse 30. Then the men of the city said unto Joash, Bring out thy son. Now he telling you, say, man, bring your son out, man. They done snitched on him. Tell him, come on out, man. <laughs> we don't. Bring out thy son that he may die. Because that's the reason why that's the reason why Gideon was, was scared, man, because he knew if he did that, they were going to try to kill him. But watch this, though. Read. Because he had cast down the altar of Bath. And because he had cut down the grove that was by it. Mm-hmm. And Joash said unto all that stood against him, Will ye plead for Bath? Will ye save him? Mm-hmm. He that will plead for him, let him be put to death, whilst, whilst it is yet morning. Mm-hmm. If he be a god, let him plead for himself, mm-hmm. <laughs> because one has cast down his arms. Now he said, if that's a god, then... If that's if just a real God, then let him let him kill him, kill my son. Then mm-hmm. if he's so if God's so real, let him kill my son. Not, not only there, you you knocked him down. You, you. Tell him stand up. Yeah, yeah that's, <laughs> that's supposed to be a God. He, let him kill me. Mm-hmm. I pushed him down. Mm-hmm. And then he telling you, I guess I do it because our God ain't gonna do it. <laughs> Go ahead, y'all. Read on up. Verse thirty-two. Therefore, on that day he called him Jerubal. Jerubabel. That's why the Gideon name is changed to Jerubabel. Because he cast down the altars of Baal. Mm-hmm. Read. Saying, let Baal plead against him because he had thrown down his altar. Mm-hmm. Then all the Midianites and the 
Amalekites Am 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 and, and the children of East were gathered together and went over and pitched in the, in the valley of Jezreel. Now, this right here is just basically just giving you in the story of how uh, Gideon was certain name, uh, well, was, was his name had changed to Jerubbabel because he cast down the altar of Baal because the Lord told him to go and gave him a straight commandment that he's supposed to take down the altar. Because if, he, if the Lord, if the Lord gonna fight for him, then he need to. The Lord need to know if, yeah, okay, if you are gonna be obedient enough to do like I asked you to do. Let's go to chapter seven and verse one. He ain't changed his name to Jeroboam. He throwing bricks at the <laughs> that bed. And not only that, Jeroboam, that's his name. Say he did what his name say he did. He threw down uh, idols. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he threw down <laughs> some the other day. Yeah. What's the sign? Christmas trees. <laughs> 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 this is how they roll. I think they're going to read it. <laughs> hey, I got to describe it. I got to describe it. Huh? <laughs> read on up. Chapter 7 of Judges, verse 1. Then Jeroboam, the Rubabel, who is Gideon, and all the people that were with him rose up early and pitched beside the well of Herod, uh -huh. so, that he, so that the host of the Midianites were on the north side of them by the hill of Mara in the valley. Now this is this is Jeroboam and he's got he got he's got his troops with him. Now they finna get ready and get ready to go to war. They finna get ready to go to war with the Midianites. But the Lord finna set them up. Read on up. Verse two and the Lord said unto Gideon, The people that are with thee are too many for me to give to Midianites into the hand. Now he telling Jeroboam, look here man all the people that you got, with you, it's too many of y'all to be going here fighting against them, man. It's way too many of y'all. Why is that, Brother Shana? Do you know why? Mm, no, I don't. We just talked about it earlier. Why, look? Because you said one man taking Uh-uh, go ahead. I... He want to show his strength. Exactly. Right. Most high. Right. Get the glory out of this thing. Uh, exactly. If you got a lot of men, and they got a lot of men, and they win, that ain't nothing. Yeah, but yeah, if the most high, right. you got 10 men, and the most high had them 10 men take down 10,000. That's, yeah. Yeah, that's the and power of the most that. high right there. And man. not only that, if it was all these men, then when if the if the Israelites had won this war, mm -hmm. guess who's going to be glorified? The Israelites. Exactly. Read on up. Let Israel vaunt themselves against me, saying, my own hand have saved me. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what Maccabees just said. That's the reason why he had, he like, look, you got too many people because y'all don't think that y'all did this and y'all not going to give me my glory. That's right. Read on up. Verse 3, now therefore go to proclaim in the ears of the people, saying, whosoever is fearful and afraid, let him return and depart early from Mount Gilead. Mm -hmm. And the return of the people, 20 and 2,000. Mm -hmm. And there remain 10,000. Yeah, you see that all them people that he had, all them people that he had, he, now he broke down to 10,000. Mm -hmm. See, but he told them the ones that was afraid, that's what? That's how we look at people as well. You afraid? You don't go home. Matter of fact, let's read it. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 8 real quick. But that's the commandment on that thing, man. You know, because we know, we know, especially with the brothers, we know everybody not built for camp. You know, we understand that. We want brothers to be out there in camp, you know, to stand up for the most part. But we know everybody not built for camp. Read this, I. Deuteronomy 20 and 8. And the officers shall speak further unto the people, and they shall say, What man is there that is fearful and fainthearted? Because according to the scriptures in Nehemiah chapter 6, verse 13, guess what? Fear is sin, mm -hmm. according to the Bible. Read on up. Let him go and return unto his house, lest his brethren's heart faint. As well as his heart. Because guess what? Fear is also like a cancer. Once people see fear, guess what? The thing spreads it's like spread. a wild mm -hmm. So people, they see the fear in you. So then they start getting fear like a Cedric the Entertainer. You see that? <laughs> While we run it, man, oh no, you ran. So it's the same thing. So. And, and know, the people, know the people that's around y'all sometimes because a lot of times you got to get to know the brother that's with you because, man, y'all think that brother you got your back. You be like, yeah, Johnny, we finna get them. Johnny? <laughs> Johnny gone. Johnny, man, Johnny burnt out of there. Yeah. He's not there. He's not ready. He, he feels. Johnny's yeah. true. But he didn't realize Johnny was there as soon as that man got out of the car. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> you don't even know where we're finna go down. He bad left you. So get to know your brothers. Uh, read on up. <laughs> Deuteronomy went back into the back of Judges. Go back to Judges chapter 7. Go back to Judges chapter 7, verse 4. And the Lord said unto Gideon, The people are yet too many. Bring them down into the water, and I will try them for thee there. And it shall be that of whom I say unto thee, This shall go with thee, the same shall go with thee. And of whomsoever I say unto thee, This shall not go with thee. The same shall not go. Now, the Lord said, take them down into the water. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try them for you. Mm -hmm. Now, this is Lord. This is our God handpicking his army. Right. And it's the same way he's doing right here in this last day. He's handpicking his army. Because there's going to be a lot of people you think going to be, oh, man, I thought that brother was in that fight. Man, and that brother walk away. <laughs> yeah. that's it's going to be, oh, man, that sister was diligent. That sister walked away. It's going to be a lot of people like that. They just going to walk away. And you think that they diligent. But guess what? It's get, guess what? When stuff get real, mm -hmm. you see people get weak. Mm -hmm. People get afraid. People, no. The fear sets in. Guess what? The Lord didn't give us no fear according to 2 Timothy uh, uh, 1 and 7. He didn't give us fear. He didn't give us that spirit, the spirit of fear. But a lot of times, brothers can't let that old man go. So that fear, fear, I mean, that, that fear come up on them. And they walk away from stuff that the Lord has so much more set up for them, they, they didn't accept it. The book of Matthew is chapter 22 and verse 14. Mm -hmm. For many are called, but few are chosen. Mm -hmm. When they get gangster. When they get gangster. <laughs> they don't fight or run. They don't know. Right. Man. <laughs> they go, guess what, man? We ain't, guess what? If we the men of the Lord, man, he said the righteous shall stand bold as a lion. Mm -hmm. The righteous. That's why the wicked gonna always flee, man. We don't know. Verse five. So he brought down the people into the water, uh -huh. and the Lord said unto, unto Gideon, "Everyone that lappeth of the water with his tongue as a dog, lappeth him, him shalt thou set by himself. Likewise, everyone that bowed down upon his knees to drink, mm -hmm. and the number of them that lappeth, putting their hand to their mouth." Well, 300 men. Now, he said the one that was, you know, some of them, they were so, they were so thirsty, they in there like a dog, not, not, not. Drinking that water. But some men, like men, man, they squat down, they drink it like a man. They drink it like a man. Oh, go ahead, now, go ahead, fish. Go ahead, huh? Okay. <laughs> but I'm going to tell y'all something. There was a movie that came out, 300. Where y'all think they got it from? Wow. Them mugs is some, they, they is some, they some dogs, man. <laughs> I'm going to touch on a little bit more. When you lapping like a dog, can you see danger? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. Most high want soldiers out there, mm -hmm. man. He want a, a, a brother that's going to be out there like a lion out there looking for danger, man. Because mm -hmm. you got to constantly have your guards up while you at war. So the most high don't want those weak brothers that's lapping like a dog, sick, but they ain't looking out for danger. He want lions out there, man. Yeah, they thirsty. Nah. I mean, that. <sighs> Man, you only walk two miles. <laughs> we got 30 more miles to go. You up there already. I mean, that ain't taking it. I mean, all face all in there looking like a deer. Say, go home. Yeah. <laughs> go home, man. <laughs> I got to go back by myself. Yeah. yeah. Go yeah. home, man. <laughs> go home. <laughs> Anybody else want to go? <laughs> go home, man. So, Lord, out of, out of all the, what's this? Was how many men it was? Twenty-two thousand. Ten thousand. Thirty-two. He went to ten thousand, huh? Thirty-two. Thirty-two went to ten. Thirty-two went to ten. Now it's at down to three hundred. This is what the Lord said to him then. Now read on up. Verse six. And the number of them that lapped, putting their hand to their mouth, were three hundred men. But all the rest of the people bowed down upon their knees to drink water. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said unto Gideon. By the three hundred men that lap will I save you, mm -hmm. and deliver the Midianites into thine hand, and let all the other people go, every man into his place. So guess what, man? He said, man, look at all the rest of them that wasn't ready for this fight, because those those men weren't ready. I need men of war. I need men that's of a tech integrity. I need men that's gonna stand up and be manfully for 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 my sake, for my name. That's what the Lord looking for. Exactly. And it also touches on another point, because we hear a lot of, we hear brothers talking. Well, man, 
Why them brothers be leaving the camp? Guess what? Most I can't use everybody, man. Right. We just can't. Sometimes, guess what? A camp get too big, you get get high minded, <laughs> too big for your bricks. So guess what? You gonna see a revolver though, even with the sisters. You gonna see brothers come in and out because just like I pulled in Matthews, many are called but few are chosen. Most I want strong brothers. He want strong sisters to do the work, man. Mm -hmm. So guess what? A lot of times when brothers always ask that, guess what? They be the ones to leave up out the door, man. They sure mm -hmm. do. They Every single time, man. Every single time, man. They come with experience, man. See, but, but yeah. the thing is, just a lot of time when we see things, you know, people get caught up in that old person. Man, I think they did it wrong, man. They did it the wrong way. Well, did that person? Did they come out the Bible? Well, yeah. But I still, I feel though. I believe. I but I think. Look, man, look here, man. The Lord can give a damn about how you feel, man. That's just being honest with you. He, he can get care less how we feel. That's why he say, lean not into your own understanding. The moment you start doing that and trying to go against what God said to do, as if you're going against us, you're not going against us. First Thessalonians 4 and 8. You're not despising man. You're despising God. You're not questioning us. You questioning the most high. All we doing is reading what the Bible says. Well, I don't feel that's right. Well, you need to take that up with the most high then. We this book was here when we got here. You know what I'm saying? When when people start doing that, especially people who is in the truth, you going off. I can see if somebody ain't in the truth yet. When you go get you in the truth, and then you see what the scriptures say, and then you start saying what you feel and you believe, you going off. Because then you want to start taking it out on the brothers and saying it's the, it's the brother. We already proved, all of us proved in here that it's not us. We're not doing nothing but what the most high directing us to do as a unit. So taking it out on this brother, oh, this brother right here, he took, bro, nah, bro, you going off. You in your own feelings. Mm -hmm. And feelings ain't in the Bible. We looked it up. <laughs> your feelings is not in the Bible. <laughs> We, I, we literally went to the con concordians to see what's feelings in there. It's not in there. So I don't think the most high care about that. Let's go to the last precept, Psalms chapter 27, verse 1, man. Let's get up out here. And some of these brothers got to go to work. Got to get ready for work. Yeah, we got to go to work. I, mean, I don't work like this, so hey. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Like come in work. Like, yeah, I, I work. Yeah. YouTube, I work. Yeah, boy, Facebook, I, I work. Boy, you know, he, he got comments all day. And he works in the infidel. Jerusalem, I'll be like, yeah, I'll, I'll be there when I get there. <laughs> <laughs> but like I say, man, the Lord don't, guess what? It's just letting you know, without no fear, the Lord don't need everybody to do his work. Mm -hmm. He just don't need everybody. If he wanted to, he could have done it by himself. But he take, guess what? Sometimes he takes a small number to show his so to show his work, man. Can you imagine what Gideon was thinking? He thought of that, yeah, we got enough to whoop him. We can whoop him. And he's talking about, no, you got too many. Too many? <laughs> too many. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And now it's 10,000. He's like, okay. That, that look like enough. Then he like, nah, that's still too many. That too many? <laughs> Hold on. We trying to win the war, right? No, he, we trying to win it, ain't we? Yeah, right. Most I say, just, just do what I say. I got you. That's like that man in black. Remember, uh, they gave Will that little bitty gun. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, man, what is this? And he shot that thing, and that thing was tough. Yeah, that's what the like. Most I'm like, yeah, just, just be patient with him. Right. I got something for you, man. And you know, this here's the 220,800 revolver. <laughs> 60 k you know, That's what this is. You're going to use I'm saying I'm bringing out a great points here about uh -huh. what we think about how it should go, which is carnal, and how the most high mm -hmm. wanted to go. That was a perfect example with the uh, Gideon story. Mm -hmm. You had 20 some thousand and he only wanted 300. That should let you know when somebody said, well, man, they ain't got a whole lot of people up in there. It ain't about a whole lot of people. A whole lot of people ain't going to make it to the king. <laughs> it's about, it's about the quality mm -hmm. of the people. Uh, he I said he got it. men of valor, mighty men. That's what we want. We want princesses 
and mighty men of valor. Mm -hmm. We don't want just no anybody up here. We a royal priesthood, a holy yep. nation. Yeah. We don't want no anything <laughs> up in here. So if somebody don't feel fit hanging around kings and princesses, then yeah. something wrong with you. And yeah, too many people just, well, too, uh, people getting in your way. Yeah. yeah. Go, so, back, go back to that movie 300. Yeah. But you know what? A lot of times people get caught in up on numbers. Yeah. They do. They get, oh, yeah, man, we we well, we got 100,000 people in, in the battle asses now, boy. We, what we doing is big. And guess what? 95,000 of wicked as hell. Yeah. <laughs> boy, we don't need it. say more people, more problems. Yes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even the, even the, uh, even the, uh, uh, the wicked say the smaller the room, the bigger the party. <laughs> Even you know how Rashad said, man, all I need out of that, man, is 144,000. I, I take this whole world back. Mm -hmm. Just think about it, man. It's 7 billion people yes. on planet Earth. Millions of Israelites, man, it's innumerable, but he only wants 144,000. Yes, to take it all back yeah. over. So, yeah, this is my army over here. We can whoop all y'all. <laughs> <laughs> we can whoop all y'all. Like that boy 300, he said, yeah, you got all them men asking what they do. Say, yeah, I'm going to call, yeah, I'm going to speak, say, what you do? I'm a soldier. We got 300 soldiers. We got That's right 44 soldiers. Hmm. Y'all got all these other, whatever case may be, on a nail shop ticket. <laughs> <laughs> we got 300 soldiers over there, you know what I mean? Stop cutting that hair and let's go to war. Right. Right. Okay. Like you said, that's in the way. Get away. Read this Psalm chapter 27, verse 1, man. Psalm chapter 27, verse 1. The Lord is my life and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Man, whom shall we fear in this walk, man? Not a nan nut. Uh. We ain't gonna fear nobody in this walk, man. I don't care about our friends, our family. We gotta stand up boldly for our God, man. This is the last days, man. And we got to act like we living in the last days, man. We can't fear what men and what women and what the other nations and what anybody can do to the body, man. We got the one that's going we got to fear the one that's gonna torn up is the gone, uh uh kill the body and the spirit. That's the one we should be fearing, man. Read on up. The Lord is my strength. The Lord is the strength of my life. Mm -hmm. Of whom shall I be afraid? Man, who said who I'm gonna be afraid of? This is King David talking, man. We don't. When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, count upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. See, so, because everybody that come against us, that's what's gonna happen. They are gonna stumble and fall. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of people that's not gonna like the things that you say. They're not gonna like the looks that you make, and you mm. might not like their looks, and you might not like the things they say either. Mm. But once you, as long as you keep any law, statutes, and commandments, that's what. That's what. That's what, we ain't got to worry about the Lord fight. We gonna work. We ain't got to worry about it because the Lord gonna fight for us according to. Exodus chapter 14 and 14, he's told us to hold our peace. The Lord going to fight for us. Read on. Though an host should encamp against me, mm -hmm. my heart shall not fear. What 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 happened downtown this weekend? Though an host shall, should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Guess what? A hundred police cars everywhere. They they come just they come they had the block surrounded. <laughs> guess what we guess what we brought? They brought they pulled their guns and we pulled oh, our guns. guns. That's right. Uh, we can't fear, die. man. We can't fear. <coughs> we ready to die with our guns in our hands. <coughs> so when we say, hey, brothers, grab your sword, brothers, grab your swords, brothers. Grab your weapons. That's what it's about, to grab our weapons. If the brothers don't want to grab their weapons, sisters, come grab y'all weapons. Come read for us. Mm -hmm. Watch these brothers that's going to stand on the front line. We're going to go to work with this thing, man. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to play no game with the Lord's word, man. We don't. Though war should rise against me, mm -hmm. in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord. He said, one thing I, have I desired of the Lord. Read. Mm -hmm. That I will seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord. Because that's, the that's what we're trying to seek after so we can dwell in the house of the Lord. Read on. All the days of my life uh -huh. to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Because that's what we want. We want the kingdom, man. Mm -hmm. We can't stand in fear because fear stops us from getting to the kingdom. Yep. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Read on up. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. See, because in the time of trouble, the Lord going to protect us, man. That's how he hide him in the pavilion. He's going to protect us, man. Read on. In the secret of his tabernacle mm -hmm. shall he hide me. 
Mm-hmm. He should set me up upon a rock. He gonna sit upon, and y'all know who that rock is. That's your house shot. That's the the Moshe Yach, man. We don't. And now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies? Because guess what? We gonna lift our heads up in battle, man. We don't. And now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies round about me. Mm-hmm. Therefore, I will will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. And these are praises that the Lord is looking for, right? Oh, here. Praise. These are the praises that our God is looking for, man, in the time of the battle, right. man. And with that, man, we say shalom. 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 Then we gonna get a let me get a statue right quick. Go ahead. You go, cause I'm, yeah, I thought you were gonna go get it. Uh, go to First John four and twelve. We got law, statutes, and commandments now. First John four and twelve. That's a statue. Read that. The book of First John, chapter four, verse twelve. No man has seen God at any at any time. Mm-hmm. If we love one another, if God we will. love one another, that's one of the key things. And the, the brother that brought this out, perfect love cast out fear. Read. If we love one another, God dwelleth in us, mm-hmm. and His love is perfected in us. And that's where we get the love that's perfected in us. When we love one another, when we do for one another. That's what the most high whole thing is telling us. Man, y'all need to love each other. Because we don't do that no more. Not Israel. We love everybody but us. Mm-hmm. So that's what he's saying. That's when you got the love, perfected, the perfection of the most high is in you. It's when we start loving each other, doing it, and concerned about each other. Man, what's going on right there? We need to start doing that, man. Uh-huh. I mean, we don't got selfish because we in this, this, uh, <coughs> They kingdom. Mm-hmm. They could return back to our kingdom and our ways and our God. And on that note, go ahead. You can push it out. Damn. Uh, thank y'all for the, the ones that's giving on the GoFundMe. We sure appreciate the, uh, the funds that y'all sent in. It'll be going towards what the most high will is, not for our own will. Uh, our, our proceeds are for the, to, for the betterment of the body to, to push this truth. Uh, those that's on Facebook, thanks for tuning in. Hope you brothers and sisters keep on tuning in and get edified in the Lord's word. Those on YouTube, same thing, man. Let's, let's build this nation up together, man. And with that, say shalom. Oh.